You ever find yourself grateful for the little things? I mean, the really little to no importance things? Well, I have. And here's seven of them. Number one, snack tables. <laughs> because nothing says to the people around you more that the TV is way more important than any of you. Good or bad food, you provide the shelf to my couch. And for that, I'm grateful. Number two, selfies. What better way to let the world know you're still alive and looking better than ever? Whether duck face or flash in the middle finger, I'm grateful for your ability to supply self-esteem. Not only do you deserve your own day, where would Windex or Midnight Makeup Usage be without you? Seriously, use the Windex. Number three, Sriracha. This gift of the gods has been adding great flavor to my meals, mostly Chinese takeout, for over about ten years now. You provide the heat without the burn, and no matter if I can't read every word on your bottle, I am grateful for your existence, you sexy thing, you. Number four, small napkins. You might be wondering where I'm going with this, but stick with me. You may not provide enough usage to effectively wipe my hands. However, when you're with your small napkin friends, you can handle just enough to clean up a small spillage. And when you do, you show the power of unity. In this selfish world we live in, it is a much-needed lesson as well as the lesson of how you even entered my life in the first place. Number five, food delivery. It may cost more to buy food through delivery than to buy from the supermarket, but I don't feel like getting off my couch right now. Most of the time I do have food, but why do I want to eat the same food I wanted a week ago? Lazy? No. More like supporting local businesses. Eat at big box stores, unless you start delivering. Number six, Intense music in television competition shows. So listen, you provide the lackluster production of my cooking show with the feel of an epic Hollywood action movie. Who knew cooking a beef Wellington along with your thrash of musical instrument horror could provide so much enthralling suspense? After your strike of musical intensity, a calming and warm melody provides transition from the attack on my auditory-fueled emotions to the much-needed soothing embrace of a happy ending. Without you, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't know how to feel when someone overcooks a salmon. And number seven, glitter. As Dimitri Martin once referenced as the herpes of the arts and crafts world, you are simply the friend that won't go away. You make us shine after we part, and we curse you for it. Oh, fickle friend, you serve a much-needed purpose. You have provided joy from children to strippers, both in many ways provides happiness, as well as frustration to the inhabitants of this earth, and for that, I am trivially grateful.